Hello, lovely people. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit of a delay. I think yours is cute. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today as we crack open our brains and take a look inside at the creative goop. That might not be the best tagline. <laughs> Maybe not. If you're new here, hello, I'm Jessica. This is my channel. This is my beautiful wife, Claudia. She's a special guest star on some of my videos and takes all of the beautiful photos on our Instagram account. Although you can also follow her on her own Instagram account at CloudFoz, where she posts <laughs> annually. I'm too busy making all the content for the other Instagram accounts. We love being creative and learning more about ourselves, so we have partnered with Skillshare, who have kindly sponsored this video to bear our souls through the magic of a raw search test. <gasps> and tell you all about their amazing and captioned courses. Getting to know yourself better and having creative breakthroughs is important because it helps you stay on the right track in life. Are we really doing what makes us happy? Are we? I think I'm personally quite obsessed with personality tests because I just have a complete lack of self-awareness but really want to have one. Mm. So what, you may ask, is a raw search test? Other than being yet another entry in the list of names I possibly can't pronounce. A deep apology to everyone in the Kelgan Frozard Club whose name I have butchered in my monthly members only videos. I say happy birthday to everyone in the club who's had a birthday that month by butchering 80% of their names and I'm so sorry. You are dyslexic. Thank you. Yeah. I'm deaf. The Rorsach test is a psychological test developed in 1921 by Herman Rorsach to measure thought pattern and disorders. Test participants were shown a series of 10 ink block cards and directed to respond to each with what they see in the ink block. More rigorous modern analysis indicates that the scores have little value and it's actually pretty useless. The Rorsach test is now just a historical curiosity and used mainly for entertainment purposes. There are 10 images and we have some time to memorise them and then we get shown a list of what the ink blots might be and we have to pick our first oh, and second choice. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought it was like you just see an ink blot and then you could just choose whatever you think it is. Yeah, but this is a computer programme. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> I'm afraid you have to pick from the... We didn't have time to notions. go into the actual depths of Claudia's mind. I'm so sorry, I didn't hire an actual psychiatrist for this. Ho oh, hum. Begin sorry. assessment. What is this? Oh, is it an army or navy emblem? Crumbling cliffs. A bat. Nothing at all. Two people. A pelvis. An x-ray picture. Pincers of a crab. A dirty mess. Part of my body. Something not listed here. Choose what would best describe the image you saw in the first column. If there's a second description that fits well too, mark it just in a second. Oh, okay. Oh, a pelvis. Continue. Next one. A bug someone stepped on. <laughs> Nothing at all. <gasps> two Scotty dogs. Little fate. Wait, you just went straight for two, two clowns. Two clowns high fiving. <laughs> sure. Anything else? No, I couldn't, I couldn't see anything else but two clowns high fiving. Uh, what does yeah. this one look like to you? Um, it looks like people playing the drums. Okay, click continue. It gives you the answer of part of my body a lot. All right. Uh -huh. Ooh. It's a ram's head. Okay. A ram's skull. Sure. Or actually, a water hog. Ah. Like, yeah, it looks a bit like the one from the from um, yeah, the Lion King. Um, yeah. Okay. Some of the a man in a fur coat. I love it. A nasty mess. <laughs> Not just a mess. A nasty mess. Oh, that's obvious. Where do you think it is? Is that not just a um, bat? You were going to say a moth? I know, but it's not quite it's a the wrong yeah, shape for a moth, so then I said a bat. Alligator's yeah. head! A bat or butterfly. So it just gives you an x-ray picture over and over. A pair of pliers. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. Like a um, animal skin, like mat. You know when people yeah. make like like skins. I really out. have no idea what animal that used to be, my love. But see, look, a fur rug. Yes, that's what I was going. For. Go for it. Go for it. Looks like two girls looking at each other doing some crazy little dance. Oh, yes. Go for it. Two women talking. Yeah. All right. Seriously, part of my body appears every single time. <gasps> a colourful one. one! Ah. Oh. Well, I mean... It could look a bit like I a... think it looks like two bears climbing up a mountain You think bear like say iguanas? Well, now you've said that, it's clearly an iguana. <laughs> two animals, anyway. Oh, what does it look like? Pink, blue and orange. Thanks. Wasn't aware that was not... I say two animals, but also 
flowers and leaves because oh. it looked a bit like naturey to me. Okay. Or was it parts of my body? No. Ooh. Ink block. It's scary. Uh. It's the skull. Look, there's the nostrils, the eyes, it's horns, and it's like flaming. Like. Oh, it looks like a dragon. Yeah, or a bull. Seahorses or lobsters? No. Flowers or underwater vegetation? Parts of my body. Yeah, second is smoke because I could get the flames bit. But the first bit was like... It's quite clearly a dragon. Yeah, it was like... You've ruined it. They said now. deer or horns of a deer. Uh, I guess you have I to I mean, go with or it's seahorses or lobsters. I think I'll go for the deer. Two people, witches or Santa Clauses? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, we're getting really quite out there. Oh, yeah, this has got trippy. Uh, um, splodges of paint. I mean, it could be like an underwater scene. Yeah, I think an underwater scene. Like, they look like crabs. It's reminding me of the shrimp. little mermaid. No, they look like shrimp. They look enjoyable. like crabs. Seahorses. Oh. Yeah, seaweeds. Oh, okay. It's a gay tropical fish. <laughs> yeah, gay couple, tropical fish. Got it. Got I'm it. I'm going to go for it. It wasn't. They said spider, caterpillar, crabs, and insects. Yeah. I kind of thought it was more like sea creatures. Like... Yeah, it was fun. Okay, what does it say about me? Okay, your score is one, one of ten. ten. Is that good? One of ten, not one out of ten. Okay, meaning you selected one answer that is commonly given individuals with some psychological disturbance. Oh, Congratulations. I'm, I'm... <laughs> so I'm, I'm okay. Wow, you need four or more poor answers as the criteria for a cognitively disturbed individual. Oh, okay. Well... Sure. If you said it's a part of my body for every single thing, would <laughs> is that a disturbing answer? Maybe that's the answer. Maybe because you put pelvis for one of them, it was like part of my body. And now a word from our sponsors. We've been learning a lot about ourselves and each other, thanks to the help of some ink blots. But if you're interested in finding out more about your creativity and how to use it, then you should try Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of videos targeted at creators and millions of curious members who come together to learn. Classes range across an array of topics from freelancing, fine art, video editing, the list goes on and on. Skillshare want to use the act of creating as a force for growth, change and discovery to help you discover the path to expression that feels right for you. This month's class recommendation is Creative Breakthrough. Eight exercises to power your creativity, confidence and career by Danielle Kreiser artist and author of The Jealous Curator. Danielle took a 20 year break from creating after a crushing critique, but came to the realization that it wasn't her professor who was standing in her way. 20 years? It was herself. A 20 year break, can it be called a break? It's like, that was a lot of your life. It's basically an entire lifetime, really. Oh dear. She's now created this course to help others unlock their own breakthroughs and use their artistic potential. If you're the type of person who stands in their own way, then this is the class for you. Mm. Scared of sharing your work? This is the class for you. Don't really know your own style? This is the I, class for you. I wasn't... I'm feeling very defensive. Wow! Yeah! <laughs> I mean, you're the one who's taking this all on yourself. You, already, you opened this whole video with, you need to post more on your Instagram. And I was like, okay. You're been just feeling be... personally victimised. Now I know why I've been asked to be a special guest. Special <laughs> guest on this video. Danielle draws from her own life experiences as well as the lives of some of her favourite artists, sharing the best way to shift your mindset and just get on with having fun creatively, whether it's writing, painting, collaging or just being more productive. These easy to follow exercises are sure to help. Maybe you're the type who says, by my age, famous person X had already achieved yeah. so much. Well, tosh to that. It's never too late to find joy in your art, start a new hobby, or find the niche that will help your career. As long as you're passionate about creating, Danielle can help you to build your determination. Willpower is hard. This class makes it easier. I've always said to Jessica that I think my 40s are going to be amazing. Yes, they will. I just feel like I've not quite, you know... I mean, I'm, I'm just saying I've got eight years of my 30s mm. to get more knowledge, get mm -hmm. more creativeness, to get more confidence. Mm -hmm. Basically, what I'm trying to say is never too late to learn. It's never too late. Yeah, and I used to be one of those people that was like, oh, I'm like, I don't know myself and I don't have enough direction and I wish I had a hobby that I just really adored. And now I'm like, you know what? It will come. Yeah. <laughs> Click the link in this video's description to join the 7 million plus people currently using Skillshare to improve their skills. The first 1,000 people to click will get two free months of premium membership with unlimited access. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. Back to finding out things we never knew about each other. 
I mean, did it, we already know. I mean, it didn't tell as much no. for mine. It just told me, well done, you're not you're not psychologically disturbed. Yeah. I mean, what's the we're going to reveal? That you are? What are we going to do then? Begin assessment. Oh, I think they're the same blots. This immediately says to me, wolf. Oh, I'm seeing something different this time. So. <laughs> Is it the same? Are you sure? Yeah, right? I don't know. Yeah. I'm seeing something different. Okay, I've seen a wolf. Yeah, oh, still two that's clowns. like two men touching hands. Yeah, two clowns, the spottiness. Okay, clowns, no baggy clothes. sure. Where's the clown one? Two clowns, yeah, let's go. Okay, that's, I'm thinking they look like French waiters because, bear with, in this little space here, you can almost see- Ah, oh, little like apron. There's like an apron. In the right? negative space. Mm, mm. And this is a massive kind of soup tourine. Mm. Yes, and there's a bow tie between them. Yeah. Mm. Two men. That's I mean, yeah. yeah mm. I know. We give it such a lot of detail. <laughs> and they're like two we men. We thought about this a lot. It's mm. a scary Again, I mean, yeah, I guess Warthog is really the only thing that could be. I mean, it has, it has the little ears here, and then I'm seeing the horns. And the eyes. And a snout. I don't know why I said it like that. Schnaut. <laughs> Schnaut. It's because we're doing a German test. Is it German? Reich. Reich. Reichman. Why do we just accidentally insult people? Head of an animal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm intrigued as to what the answers could be that make you, that would have made them originally think that you had some kind of problem. Okay, I'm gonna say it's just a bat. A smashed body, see? <gasps> oh, uh, this, this looks like a guitar to me. Or is it a weapon? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Are. Yeah, I'm gonna go with something not listed here and be true to myself. I mean, I mean, I think this was like rocks, to be honest. Could look a bit like a bum print, you know, like when it's a when your bum's bum wet. Print. Yeah, and you've just, you just sat kind of a weird shaped bum do you have? <laughs> bum and thighs, like a baby's bum and thighs. Like, something not listed here. Something. Part of my body. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of my body. All right, when part I was my a baby. baby. Sure. <laughs> Oh, my body when I was really young. Uh, I again, I thought this was a bear climbing up a really odd tree. I mean, it looks a little bit like Star Wars -y. I think it's the like the things here. I keep thinking of Xena, not Xena, Zelda. Z <laughs> Leia? Leia. <laughs> oh, is it an x ray picture? No. Pink, why would it be an x ray picture? Pink, blue, and orange. This is a dragon. Okay. I know, but it wasn't like an that option. wasn't an option. <laughs> Even though that could be horse? nose, we've got... Or well, it could be a dragon this way as well, like... Yeah, See? Two so many ways it could be a dragon. Yeah. Um, I guess it could be a bit seahorsey. Is that an option? Where's no. that? Seahorses! Oh, right, yeah, it was. This, we thought was the underwater scene. Um, or is it a tropical gay fish? Apparently. gay fish looks like. I'll go with spider caterpillars and yeah. insects and stuff. Your test is complete. <gasps> Your score is three of ten. You're borderline. <gasps> How? You, you selected three answers that are commonly given by individuals with some psychological disturbance. Mm, interesting. Four or more poor answers is the criteria for a cognitively disturbed individual. Look, if you look at the chart, yeah, most people scored two. Yeah. I only got one. You're like on the other side okay. of the curve. Oh, God. I'm not surprised. You are a little bit psychologically disturbed compared to me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the link down in my description box to help you explore your creativity. Skillshare will be giving away two free months of premium membership to the first 1,000 people who click the link. And after that, it's only $10 a month. So take the plunge. The plunge. And also the test that I'm gonna leave down in the description, please. Tell me if you score more than three. I'm intrigued. Or recognize it's a nonsense test that means nothing That's about yourself. True. You're fine. Unless you feel like you should speak to a doctor, in which case speak to a doctor. It's really no good way to end that. No, maybe mm. so. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much. We'll see you in our next video. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.